Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. Episode number 938. Yes, the numbers are climbing higher and higher. And uh, today we're talking about what's next. Christmas, Christmas, if you didn't see my broadcast yesterday, happy holidays, etc, etc. Today officially is Boxing Day. Not here, unfortunately, but where I'm from, England, this is Boxing Day. But the things after that, what's next is, for most people, New Year's Eve. And so I'm going to talk about what are you going to do after that? Because you may have been very full, in your pl- your plate may be very full of planning what's coming up because you have to get rid of Christmas, you have travel plans maybe, or you're doing cru- gift wrap, pr- getting presents together, celebrating, getting together with friends, family, food, etc., etc., etc. Today may be a recovery day. <laughs> it is for me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I had fun yesterday. <laughs> Just say that right now. Um, and with some cool people. New people and friends already knew. But my point that we get to is next week is New Year's as in the beginning of 2020. That's why I saw a friend of mine post about having 2020 vision. I haven't played with that yet, so I might play with that this time, but understanding the fact is that you have a clear vision of what you want to do. There you go, I'm already playing with it. Do you have a clear vision of what you want to do and what you want to create, how you want to be, where you want to go, what you want to be experiencing in 2020? Do you have a clear vision of that? If you don't, I'm going to suggest something in a moment that you might recommend, might want to check out. Whether or not you do take me up on my offer, I want to suggest that you might look at your new year with a clean slate. Because it is a new year, it is a new paradigm. It's supposedly a new decade, but numerically speaking, it's not. 2021 is a new decade, because that's the way numbers work. But consider this the new decade of the 2020s. (laughs) Just to to be authentic. But my invitation to you is to look at what you want to do this year that's different from what you've done before. Especially if what's worked, what you've done before, isn't working for you anymore. This is a new paradigm we're moving into. I'll do some more talks. In fact, the next few days I can feel it getting more charged up inside of me about what's coming in the future, as in what's coming once you cross into the new year, 2020. That was kind of obvious. Yeah, okay. So I've talked before, and I'm, I'm going to talk about it more times, I'm sure, that resolutions suck. <laughs> I'm going to talk just on that one soon. But the truth is that New Year's resolutions have little weight for most people. Now, some people are very adamant about being very, um, what's one look for? I'll, I'll say focused, I'll say it that way, or, or um, con- consistent. No, that's the wrong word. Committed to what they say they do. But most people write down resolutions without that much commitment to what they say or do in what they're doing. What most people do with resolutions is put down the same old stuff about, well, I'm gonna lose some weight, I'm gonna stop smoking, for those who smoke. I, did, I quit years ago. Um, have a new relationship get a new job, get a better pay raise, all these different things they say. But all of those, generally speaking, are dead in the water before the end of the first month. So January is, the, is, January is famously, well, famous in my book, for the month where resolutions go to die. <laughs> because resolutions have little weight for us. They sound good, and you say, I'm going to make some news resolutions, it's going to be dynamic, and it's very gung-ho. But how many people do you know that have bought a gym membership January 1st, and by January 31st, they've stopped going. This is kind of what happens. And it happens in all resolutions, all these different themes. So my invitation is to switch up the languaging. And I mean it this way, because resolutions have this thing, because like, I resolve to go do something. It's a very ego-driven, dynamic, pushing type energy, which most of us don't follow through on. If instead, you set some clear intentions, and yes, I mean the word intentions specifically, I intend to mean intentions, then you're setting up a different. You're putting you're putting different um, gears into motion, so to speak. Resolution is ego driven, as I said. It's like it's what we said. Like, I'm purposefully going to make this happen because I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, right. When you set up an intention, is you intend to have something happen. I intend to be in a new relationship this year. What you're doing, in my framing, is you're actually asking for assistance from something higher than your ego. Whether you want to call that your spirit or God, or the universe or your higher self, whatever you want to call that, it's up to you. But understanding when you set an intention in motion, you're recruiting more resources, more energy, more empowerment that comes from somewhere bigger than just your head. <laughs> and for some people out there, the head's pretty big already. But I mean it from the point of view that our ego, because our ego lives up here. And if you've done, if you've done studies with things like heart math or that sort of thing, you may have learned, and there's studies online you can check on this, is that the vibrational field, the energy that we, put, we pervade, the re, the expansion that we have in our energy field comes from our heart 10 times more than our head does. So ego-driven resolutions tend to fail because they don't have enough power behind them. We set intentions that come from your heart, because again, heart is 
10, 20 times, 100 times more powerful than our mind when it comes to energetic flow. When you create your intentions powerfully, authentically, and from a heartfelt place, you've like turbocharged your desires for the new year in a whole new way. So that piece alone, if you just do that, nothing else, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say more things, I'm gonna save some, some for later. But if you really get clear about your intentions, what you wanna have happen in the new year, and you make sure they're heartfelt intentions. So it's not about, I'm gonna get a new job. It's like, no, I'm loving where I'm moving into and I feel the, the joy of my new experience or whatever that is. You'll come up with the like, wording. I'm not gonna give you the wording, it's up to you. Watch you know. Two things I give on top of that. Okay. Just making sure I got on, on the loop. So clear intentions for the new year is a good start. There's a few other things I'll teach you as we go through the next few days. The thing about intentions is they, they to be effective, they must be, I'm not saying must, it's going to be a word. To be effective, your intentions will be in the present tense. So it's not about I'm going to have, I'm, I'm looking forward to have another job in the next six months. That's not an intention. That's just a, that's just a calendar appointment. When you say I'm in my new job, that's in the present moment of it already happening. That's one piece. Second piece is it must be, again, I think the word must. Let me say it this way. Okay, it works when <laughs> it's in the present moment, it's in the positive context. It's like I'm, I'm no longer, I, I hate, you know, um, something, for example, where um, I'm out of that place I hate living in versus I love the place I moved into. Subtle difference, you get? So focus on the positive affirmation of where you want to go. You're affirming what your intention is. So again, present moment and positive. The third one is you need to be talking about yourself, meaning that you can't say um, next year is going to be great with an amazing new job. Where are you in that? So you're going to include yourself in the intention statement. So I intend or my, um, I, I love the new job that I'm now doing, or whatever that is you have in your wording. So you create a positive intention. So again, positive intention, include you, present tense. Those three things would be a hallmark of clear intentions. And again, number four, actually number one before that, is to be heartfelt in your intentions. So this is the abbreviated, working, the abbreviated masterclass on intentions. <laughs> so again, heartfelt, in the present moment, positive, with you included. Simple enough? Do those. You can write them down, you can decorate them, you can write them. Better to write them down physically rather than doing it on your computer because it activates certain muscles in the body. There's a whole other conversation, by the way, but quickly cook notes. The involvement of our body in creating these intentions helps to accelerate and amplify the energy involved. If you write them on your computer with the keys, you're moving so few muscles, you're not really invested in it. But when you write by hand on paper, especially if you write it out neatly and take effort to put it in, you're really investing your physical energy and that actually imbues more, it's a nice word, imbues your intention into what you want to have. So those, those are keys that give you started on the intention road. I'm going to teach you more. I think I'll teach you more in the next few days. But I also want to tell you about another masterclass, um, much bigger one. Actually, instead of just one, one 10, 15 minute masterclass, this is a three month masterclass that I'm launching in January. Um, it's coming up January 7th, and I'm already, I've already been telling people about it. I've got some people signing up for it, and I'll let you know now. That it's called BFF, which sounds, I'm going to say anachronistic, but it sounds kind of simplistic. But BFS stands for Balance, Freedom, and Flow for your fulfillment. This is going to be part of the intention setting and a few other things I'm going to teach you over the next few days. I'm going to use snippets of, but you want the fully immersive experience? My masterclass is where you're going to get it. And BFS starts January 7th. It is a masterclass for transformation of your life to create a vision of what you want to manifest and how to get really in alignment with your energy, your flow, and your direction. Again, balance, freedom, and flow. Those three elements alone, and there's more to come are going to be so transformational in your life to create a fulfillment state that you will embody, embrace, and accept happily. Sound pretty good, yeah? <laughs> um, I do, th I, the, the early bird pre-Christmas deal is gone. However, there is one more left that's not quite as good, but it's better than full price, which is from now till January, till January 1st. This is the pre-New Year's bonus early bird thing, whatever you call that. Check out the link in the comments, which I'll put in as soon as I sign off, which is basically my website, barryselby.com forward slash BFF, that'll be in the comments, you can check that out. And if it really moves you, and if you really want to have a different experience this year than last year, I highly encourage you to check it out and sign up. It's going to be an amazing journey. I'm looking forward to supporting a relatively small group, probably with less than 50 people to have an amazing experience next year. And be, if you're really interested in that, I want you to have, be part of it. So check out the link in the comments and, uh, and that will get you started. So again, 
I've given you four keys to set clear intentions. If forget about resolutions, they do not work. Clear intentions, four of them. That will set up what's next for you in the most powerful, profound, and graceful way. It's one of my favorite things to help teach people is to get out of the re resolution trap and get into the intention setting freedom. Again, freedom is one of the three words in my, in my masterclass. I know what I'm doing here. So if you wanna get help, if you have questions about intentions, you can message me over social media. If you wanna check out my, my, my new masterclass coming up in January, the link will be in the comments. Um, but please start the new year with the right mindset. Get clear about what you really wanna have. Don't just drift into the new year like nothing ever happened. Because the other thing, worse than resolutions, is not doing anything. So at least be clear about setting up some sort of game plan intention so you do have 2020 vision next year. Again, I'm borrowing from my friend on that one. Sharon posted that, so I'm borrowing a, a quote. Um, with that, I think that covers the topic. Again, you can message me if you have any questions. I can give you some guidance about how to make it more effective, more, more direct and more functional. And if you want to run some by me to make sure that they are in fact um, the right framing, you can let me know, message me over social media and I can, I'll give you feedback on them. That'll be my gift to you. A delayed holiday gift to you, put it that way. Um, if you haven't seen my broadcast before, this is my daily Facebook Live, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time, which it is today because it's past the holidays. Um, but some days get a little crazy because life goes that way. So you can watch my Facebook Lives daily at 5 p.m. Pacific time right here on my personal page, which is facebook.com slash Barry Selby. If you haven't seen my broadcast before, you can watch the replays if you so desire. If you want to go back and watch ones you missed, you can watch them on my business page on Facebook. You can watch them on my personal page, but business pages generally more condensed, less other stuff being posted except the Facebook Lives. And that's Barry Selby, the author on Facebook. You can watch them there. However, Facebook's not the most effective um, repository for my Facebook Lives. They don't show them all. They're in there, but they're not being shown. So if you go to my YouTube channel, which I backed them up on to make sure they're safe, every single one of them is there. I made sure of it. So if you go to my YouTube, YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash user slash Barry Selby, you can subscribe to my channel, and there's a playlist on there called Messages from the Masculine. And on that playlist is every single one of the titles you can scan through, find the ones that speak to you, or pick ones randomly, or go for your lucky number, whatever you want to do. There's 900 and... 30 plus out there, including this one in a little bit later on tonight. My talks are here to help you. My messages are here to help you. Yes, I do let you know about things I'm offering because why not? It's my talk. But I make sure that in the talk that something can help you. So if you do want to check out some of the titles, I guarantee you'll get some value. So I appreciate you being with me as always. I thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, again, message me. Link will be in the comments in a moment. You can check it out. Again, it's barryselby.com slash BFF. I recommend you check it out and sign up if you want to get a transformational journey next year. I'm up for it. Are you? And uh, that's it. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Yeah, same time, 5 o'clock. And I thank you for watching today. And as always, please, take care of yourself. I'll see you again soon. Bye.